Welcome to Encaustics. If you're like me, you love just acquiring knowledge about every possible artist media out there. And that's kind of how I approached Encaustic. Um, I've heard tons of things before I started doing Encaustic about, oh, it's expensive, it's, it takes up so much space, I don't have any time for that, and all that kind of stuff. And I finally just said, you know what, I need to stop listening to what other people were telling me that why I wouldn't like it, and I need to dive into it and decide maybe it's something that will change the course of the way I process through art. So I... <laughs> I'm not like most people, or maybe I am, which might even be scarier. I basically went into this whole six month cycle of researching and buying anything that had to do with encaustic. Cause I wanted to make sure that number one, I had every material I needed. And number two, I had the ability to make an educated, you know, kind of guess or an educated decision about what I was going to use. I wanted to know firsthand if I liked the tool. I didn't want to have to rely on what everybody else said would be the best tool out there. And believe me, when you start going online and you start watching all of the videos and all that kind of stuff that everybody has compiled, it can start to get confusing. So what this class is, is Donna encaustic painting. Out of all the stuff that's out there, out of all the stuff I bought, and it was a huge box, I went through and I pulled the stuff that I love the best and the techniques that I love the best. Now, you can actually take encaustic painting to, you know, the nth degree. This is not that class. This is a class that's going to get you started with all the tools and the basic understanding of how to paint with encaustic with all the flaws and kinks worked out. And I'm going to present it to you so we can go through these lessons and really kind of build this basic understanding and working knowledge base for encaustic. There's going to be a lot of things that I have that maybe you can't afford and that's okay because I'm also going to offer you tons of alternatives to that. I do not think that encaustic is something that you have to leave one painting media to exchange this for another. It's an add on. And you know, if you think about the umbrella, of genre of art. You've got this big umbrella here, art. And underneath you've got oil painting and watercolor and acrylic and encaustic. You don't have to just be one, you can be them all. But really what I found I needed most was to know enough about the media to make an educated decision about going further in it. And that's what I wanna do for you. So I'm gonna really just go over supplies right now. I wanna to talk to you about why and and the reason why they exist and the names for things and how to process through, because that'll help you make number one, the first decision of how much do I want to invest in this? Because you don't have to invest top dollar in everything. There are ways to modify and to get around the costs of entry into a caustic as a beginner. And then you can make those edu educated decisions for yourself about where you want to take it in the future if you want to invest in more expensive and more tools and all of that kind of stuff. So I created this course for you if you were like me, wanting to know more about encaustic, wanting to dabble in it, wanting to get all the information you needed to see if it was something you wanted to go further, and then get you started on the way of some really, really fun and easy techniques to get you started building on your knowledge of encaustic that can take you to, I mean, the ends of your imagination, really. All of the techniques I'm gonna show you are just those jump starts that are gonna be like, oh my God, I didn't even know you could do that kind of things. All right, so let's go ahead and take an overview of the tools, supplies. Do not get overwhelmed because I just want to show you what it is I'll be using, why I'm using it, and what you could use to substitute for the tools that I have. 